Hello viewers, welcome back to my channel. In this session, I shall be discussing a numerical on paging that is how to calculate the number of pages and number of frames. So in previous con in sessions, you have understood uh, the uh, like the logical memory can be divided into equal size partitions and those partitions are called as pages and uh, a main memory or the physical memory is divided once again into equal size partitions and those partitions are called as frames. Here, uh, what question, uh, this particular question says that so, if this is your logical memory and if this is your me main memory, you have already seen in the previous concept that all this logical memory is divided into what equal size partitions. And same way you are dividing the ma main memory also into equal size partitions. The question in this is if suppose uh, you have this logical memory address space, the total space this logical memory or the secondary memory occupies and if the total space whatever the main memory or the physical memory occupies if this is given if the total space of this and total space of this is given and also is given what the number of the size of this page size of the page and size of the page and size of the frame will be same so if the size of the page is given and the total logical address space is given the total memory um, total physical address space is given then you are asked here to determine the number of frames okay number of frames and number of pages that means you have to find out in the secondary memory how many pages are there and in the main memory how many frames are there. Given is the total space of this secondary memory and total space of the main memory. So in the numerical normally the secondary memory for this particular the word used is the logical memory. So the total space also becomes what logical address space and here it will be what the physical address space the size of the page is given. So look here the statement says if 24 bits are used to represent the logical address space and in this question they have not given directly the total size of the logical address space rather it is mentioned that if 24 bits are used to represent the logical address space and 16 bits are used to represent the physical address space and the size of the page table is 1 KB and the size of the page is not the page table sorry if the size of the page is 1 KB determine the number of frames and number of pages if every location is byte addressable that is one byte addressable normally if this is not mentioned also to access a location so we say that it is uh, one byte addressable this is what you have to assume if it is not mentioned otherwise it will be mentioned like if every location is byte addressable single byte addressable so how do you solve this numerical 24 bits are used to represent the logical address space so logical address space already you have seen that the logical address consists of two components one is the page number and another is the displacement this is your logical address space logical address is always represented by what uh, is uh, having two components page number and the displacement for this 24 bits are used the numerical says that 24 bits are used to represent the logical address space and what about the physical address space how many bits are used 16 bits are used to represent the physical address space and if it is a physical address you know it consists of two components the frame number and the displacement so these things you have already learnt in the previous session if 24 bits are used what will be the total logical addresses okay if total logical address space can be determined by 2 2 to the power of 24 okay and the total physical address can be represented by 2 to the power of 16 okay this is one thing wherein you can calculate the total logical address space and to total uh, physical address space suppose if you are asked to find out number of pages and number of frames then you should know how many bits are used to represent this page okay page number and how many bits are used to represent the displacement once you calculate how many bits are used to represent the displacement or the offset this d is same no so anyway this will be the having the same value then you can determine easily f and p so in order to proceed with the solution what you can do is you can take the help of this statement if the page size is 1 kb see uh, what is the offset or displacement indicating the number of locations in the page if whether it is secondary memory or the physical memory it says that how many locations are there the size is 1 kb and each location is what byte addressable so 2 to the power of 1 kb is how much 2 to the power of 10 so 10 means 10 bits are used to represent Ten bits are you are used to represent the 
offset value or the displacement value okay so now from this page size only you got to know that the displacement can be of 10 bits so you can easily write here 10 bits are used for the displacement then now you check out of 16 if 10 are used for displacement 16 minus 10 is how much 6 then 6 bits are used to represent the frame numbers similarly here if 10 bits are used to represent the displacement uh, 24 minus of 10 it is equal to 14 14 bits are used to represent the um, page number so in this way you have got to know that 14 bits are used to represent the page number how did you arrive at this 14 and 6 by simply finding out the value for what the number of bits that are used to represent the displacement or offset how will you get that value with the size of the page that is given here they have given the size of the page as 1 kb okay 1 kb and each location is byte addressable so there will be 1024 1k is how much 1024 locations for that 1024 always you are writing in terms of powers of 2 as 2 to the power of 10 that means 10 bits are used to represent the displacement okay so this way you have calculated now you can easily find out the number of frames and number of pages because you got how many bits 14 bits 2 to the power of 14 will are uh, will give you the number of pages that are there here how, how will you find out here in uh, more simple this you can write down in terms of 2 to the power of 4 into 2 to the power of 10 fine 2 to the power of 16 2 to the power of 10 is k so you can say 16 k locations are there 16 k pages the number of pages are 16 k number of pages are 16 k similarly now you can determine the number of frames because 6 bits are meant 2 to the power of 16 is how much to sorry 6 bits are meant for the frame number 2 to the power of 6 is 64 so you can write down number of frames is 64 in the physical memory so now hope you are getting the point this is, was your secondary memory okay shall i just focus completely okay so this is the this was the or i'll write down here it is visible to you so hope you are getting now the complete idea if this is your logical memory it has got how many 16 k locations don't say 16 kilobytes we are not talking about the size we are talking about what number of pages so we can say that our logical memory has got 16 k pages one page two page three page like this 16 k and our physical memory has got how many 64 pages so this is how you can determine the number of pages and number of frames with the given data sometimes the address space will be given sometimes the number of bits that are used to represent the address space will be given either thing uh, from either of these things you can easily calculate the uh, number of pages and number of frames and also find out the total uh, address space that is the logical address space and the physical address space also because if 24 bits are used to represent then you can easily find out okay 24 bits so 2 to the power of 24 how will you write 2 to the power of 20 and 2 to the power of or first you can write down 2 to the power of uh, 4 and 2 to the power of 20 because 2 to the power of 4 is 16 2 to the power of 20 is m so what is that each look each uh, entry is byte addressable so you can write down into one byte so it becomes what 16 mb the logical address space is how much 16 mb similarly you can determine the physical address space also because the 16 bits are total 16 bits are used to represent the physical address you write like this 2 to the power of 16 can be written as 2 to the power of 6 2 to the power of 10 2 to the power of 6 is how much 64 so 64 k since it is byte addressable into one byte so it becomes what 64 kb so now you are able to tell in the same problem suppose if it is asked find out the total logical address space and the total physical address space in this manner you can calculate here we got how much uh, total logical address space as 16 mb and the total physical address space as 64 kb so in one problem itself i have tried to show show you how you can relate with what the values that are given for the address space and the number of bits that are used to represent the address space but definitely in the problem statement the size of the page has to be mentioned once you get the size of the page then you are able to get what the number of bits that are used to represent the displacement only with this you are able to proceed further so hope this session is useful to you all please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you bye bye take care